All right, Miles, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers here for a little bit. This is a football team, obviously got a lot of young talent, specifically on the offensive side of the ball. Kenny Pickett looks like the guy for the future. Guys like Pickens, Harris, Firemuth, there's a lot of core pieces. But the Steelers did have some holes to address in free agency, and we've got some news that Pittsburgh has gone out and done just that, going after addressing some of their key weaknesses through some big moves. Yeah, Nick, and you know the Steelers fans know the moves that have been made, but they might not know how sneaky good they are. But from what you do know... I want you to let us know in the comments below what has been your favorite addition so far to this Steelers team. There's been a lot of moves, whether people got released, whether people got signed. A lot of good signings here on the Steelers team through this first free agency period. Uh, so let us know in the comments below what your favorite move overall has been. But Nick, let's get in what kind of moves have the Steelers been making. Yeah, so historically, the one position the Steelers have been very good at, and if you go back decades, right, obviously to the 1970s, was inside linebacker. Unfortunately, last year, that was not the case. That was a big weakness. They they signed Miles Jack last offseason, hoping he could address that position. He could not. They moved off Miles Jack. They released him to open up some salary cap space. And there are reports that the Steelers have addressed that inside linebacker position, going after it twice. And the first report is from Steelers Wire. Uh, at the start of free agency, it came out that the Pittsburgh Steelers had agreed to terms with former Washington Commanders linebacker Cole Holcomb. However, the one caveat was that Holcomb had to pass a physical before he could sign with the team according to Steelers beat writer Gary Dulock Holcomb has passed his physical and is signing with the Steelers the, the deal is reportedly three years for 18 million bucks again a fair price not a crazy expensive price obviously for a quality player here's why I love this Holcomb signing first mice is that this is a guy who when he was healthy at Washington was elite level tackler playmaker had to pick six could it get after the passer when the situation arose was top flight the one question is maybe he has a few injury concerns he was injured last season so if you think about it from a risk reward perspective, the reward is that he's a pro bowl tackling machine. He addresses, you know, every question the Steelers have at inside linebacker. The risk is that he's a little banged up and misses some time and doesn't play the entire allotment. But the risk reward there is so much in the Steelers favor. when you consider the fact it's a very cheap deal, right? This is not a massive, you know, five year, $55 million deal that you've seen a lot of guys show out for some front seven pieces already in free agents. This is a quality player at a fair price. And when you're looking to make investments in your football team, you can't ask for anything better than that. Miles, give me your thoughts on this Holcomb signing and, and everything with the Steelers right now. Yeah, Nick. Well, I mean, first of all, I think that we should address the elephant in the room. Holcomb has a pretty sick haircut. He's sure. got a it's very awesome. nice mullet. So uh, that has like probably in equals to maybe five to 10 more tackles per year. So I think that's a really good savvy move by Omar Khan to, you know, address something like that. But like you said, uh, Bush and Jack last year, Jack was okay. He was very inconsistent. He didn't live up to what they thought. Obviously, Bush really kind of was floundering for a lot of the time. He he tried to up his play to keep his job. You thought he was fighting for his job a lot last year, but neither of them really made the cut. So I love that the Steelers went out early and they knew what they were looking for. They took two shots at the linebacker position. I like both the moves. I like veteran moves. It reminds me of, you know, in division rival Baltimore Ravens when they were maybe struggling at the linebacker position after the loss of CJ Mosley getting uh leaving for the Jets. They went and they got LJ Fort and an, another guy in free agency and they were able to kind of shore up the middle of that field with two savvy veteran moves. It, it was a really strong move for Baltimore and the Steelers are exactly the same type of organization. They make a lot of smart moves and getting two savvy linebackers uh, it's kind of hard for a, lot, a young rookie guy to develop early on. So if they were to draft somebody, it'd be nice to have these two guys to fill in early on, Nick. Yeah, and that second guy for all the Steelers fan out there is none other than Alandon Roberts, who came off a career year, 100-plus tackle season with the Miami Dolphins the last season. The Steelers are reportedly locked him up to a two-year deal. That's according to CBS Sports. So you got to – you know one thing I always love, Miles, when teams go into free agency with clear weaknesses and they take multiple shots at it, right? They want to get multiple rolls of the dice just in case they get one guy and, you know, injury concerns or he doesn't pan out in the new scheme or whatever. You always want to take two shots at it. It's that way you really address the situation. The Patriots were notorious at this for years. They'd have a season with bad wide receivers. They go out and sign like 40 wide receivers, trade for a bunch of guys just to make sure the issue was completely resolved. And that's exactly what the Steelers hit at, did here at linebacker position with uh, with Holcomb and with Roberts. I think it's a really smart move because you have two guys who are 
you know, tackling machines. Both are 100 plus tackle guys when healthy. Both guys are team guys too. And to circle back to Holcomb real quick, one thing I love about him is that Ron Rivera, great defensive mind, former NFL linebacker, raves about him. Jack Del Rio, Washington defensive uh, defensive coordinator, a great defensive mind, experienced coach, former NFL head coach, and former NFL linebacker in his own right, raves about Holcomb as well. So when you look at that from from that perspective, he's he appears to be a good team guy, good culture guy, physical tough guy. You know, classic Jim Rat, all the things you want to throw at him. And I think he's going to fit right into the Steelers culture and a Landon Roberts by the way comes from that also Belichick that Dolphins era he has that Brian Flores impact which if you will recall Flores was involved with the Pittsburgh Steelers last season so he should be able to slide in uh just as well too so I love it from the fit perspective as well not only do they get two quality players at fair prices they got guys who seem to be good fits for the Steelers and that's just, like you alluded to my a really great job by Khan and company uh addressing that linebacker position